We're going to show you how easy it is to use your Vector2 power meter within the Shimano Ultegra PD6800 pedal body with the Vector Shimano cartridge kit. The cartridge kits are available at buy.garmin.com and include the following. Two black Vector cartridges compatible with PD6800 pedal bodies. Replacement nuts, washers and spacers in case you lose something and a cartridge removal tool. In addition to the cartridge kit, you will need a set of Vector2 or Vector2S pedals and a set of Shimano Ultegra PD6800 pedals. That is everything you need for the upgrade. Before we start, it might be useful to go through the tools you will need. A torque wrench capable of measuring 7 newton meters or 5 foot-pounds for both left and right hand threads. An 8 mm socket for your torque wrench. A 25, 17, 15 and 8 mm open end wrench, a tube of bike grease and some clean shop rags or paper towels. First, separate the left pedal parts and the right pedal parts. This is important as the left and right side parts have opposite thread directions. Here is how you tell them apart. The left vector pedal has an extra groove cut in the spindle shoulder, whereas the right does not. The left cartridge from the kit has an extra groove cut into the cartridge barrel, whereas the right does not. The left cartridge nut is colored black, whereas the right cartridge nut is colored silver. To start the process, we must remove the left vector pedal body from the left cartridge and spindle. Take the cartridge removal tool, place it on the left pedal cartridge grooves, and then use the 25mm wrench to turn the cartridge counterclockwise out of the pedal body. Next, use the 17mm wrench to remove the Shimano spindle from the left Shimano pedal body. Again, by turning the spindle counterclockwise. Going back to the vector spindle, use the 15mm and 8mm socket to remove the black cartridge nut. Being mindful to retain the nut and washer, remove the silver vector left cartridge from the left vector spindle. Wipe the spindle and other parts clean and apply a 1 inch strip of fresh grease to the spindle. Slide the black left cartridge onto the left vector spindle. Place the washer and black left spindle nut onto the end of the spindle and tighten to 7 newton meters or 5 foot pounds. Now, install the left cartridge and spindle assembly into the left Shimano pedal body. Use the cartridge tool and 25mm wrench to torque the assembly by rotating clockwise. Repeat these steps with the right side parts. Please remember that the cartridges do not have the extra groove on the barrel and the spindle nut is colored silver. Additionally, the parts are threaded in the opposite direction, so you will have to rotate the wrenches in the opposite direction from the left side part to tighten and loosen. That's it! Now install the pedals onto your bike and go for a ride.